On 6th April 1930, Mahatma Gandhi, after walking for 241 miles, defied the salt's law by picking up a lump of salt at Dandi village in Gujarat. The spark of Dandi March ignited the flames of the freedom movement and caused the idea of mass civil disobedience to spread like wildfire across the nation. Dandi March was initiated by Mahatma Gandhi from Sabarmati Ashram on the 13th of March 1930 along with 78 Satyagrahis. Daily they walked and addressed public meetings. The ashram routine of prayer, spinning and writing up the daily diary was followed by every marcher. The long march of 241 miles finally ended on the 5th of April 1930. Along the way, Gandhiji and his companions had broken journey for the night at 22 places. On April the 6th, the atmosphere at Dandi was both tense and solemn. The day began with prayers and Gandhiji addressed the people. Gandhiji then nominated Sri Abbas Tayyabji and after him Sarojini Naidu to lead the Satyagraha if he was arrested. After prayers, Gandhiji with his followers took a bath in the sea. Then at 8.30 a.m. he defied the salt law by picking up a lump of salt. The entire nation rose against what Gandhiji described as Gunda Raj. Millions broke the salt's law and courted imprisonment. Salt depots were raided everywhere and the manufacture of salt was undertaken. In a single raid at Dharsana, 289 volunteers were wounded. But even the brutality of the police failed to break the morale of the people. The police opened fire in Calcutta, Madras and Karachi and perpetrated acts of brutality all over the country. On May the 4th, Mahatma Gandhi was arrested at Karadi, three miles from Dandi, whilst asleep in his cottage. We also remember martyr Babuji Donsegir, a resident of Khandesh, Maharashtra, who died on the 6th of April, 1858. Babuji was a soldier in the English East India Company Army in Khandesh, but left it during the First War of Indian Independence in 1857 and took part in fighting against the British on several occasions. He also offered financial assistance to his neighbors and encouraged them to join the independence movement. He was martyred on the 6th of April 1859 in the course of an engagement in Khandesh. We also remember martyr Ghulam Nabi who took part in the first war of Indian independence in 1857. Initially a soldier in the British Indian Army at Ambala, Nabi joined the Indian freedom activists and fought against the British Army. However, he was captured by the British soldiers and charged with mutiny and desertion. He was executed on the 6th of April 1858 at Ambala. <laughs>